Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! I changed my setup a bit since last time, so I've listed it in the video description there. One thing I did was I actually purchased a Smash Saber for Hero, because, unbeknownst to me, his Poe Sword ability does not depend on the number of attack multipliers that you have, unlike the first game. So, yeah, it doesn't matter your multipliers, just equip the strongest thing you got. So, I can swap that in and out as I need to for that. Uh, let's see. You want to make sure you got a purity ring on Hero, so that way he'll be immune to poison. Some enemies can do that. I've got the Gauss's Necklace on Ronfar, because some enemies can paralyze us there. Let's see. Berry Ring, just to fill things out. Gave him the Seal Crest that we found last time there, and Shiro Crest there for helping with range. We want the Thunder Crest on Jean, along with the Power Crest, because uh, the faster enemies in the area are weak to Thunder! And the same thing with uh, Lamina there. A lot of enemies are in the next area weak to Thunder, so she can help out with that. I just equipped these two on her, just because I uh, don't really need to use the Snake Crest anymore, so we'll just leave that alone. So, let's head on to the Water Ruins. I think that's where they said we're going. Well, if I if if I did accidentally spoil it, well, you're going to find out in about 10 seconds anyway. So, there we go. But yeah, what, a, what element do you think the enemies in this area are going to be weak to? Well, let's find out. Uh-oh. They got scorpions here too? I thought they only lived like in the desert and stuff. Well, whatever. Okay, so we got a couple new enemies. Fly Trappers. These guys have a lot of defense. So in order to get through that, I'm going to equip the Smash Saber and use Poe Sword on them. Uh, they're not too fast, though, so we'll be fine with that. Ronfar, let's see. We got the enemies in the back there. Uh, let's see. Fly Trapper. They are weak to fire, so I want to take them out, too. So let's see. I'll attack that one. No, wait, no. Uh, let's attack that one, actually. Have Jean go after that one, too. And then Lamina can kill the other one with a flame shot. Now, when you see the ant kind of... Uh, what is it? When it's just calm like that, it'll just attack you normally. But if it's kind of rearing its head back like the bottom one is... Yeah, they'll... Uh, attack for more damage, that is. Now, uh, Fly Trapper there, when you just see it calm, just attack you normally. When its mouth is moving like that, that means it's going to uh, try to poison you. That's also why I'm still keeping Lucia in the front row there. Maybe attract some of the attention so they don't try to poison anyone else. Let's see, do I need another Poe Sword to take that guy out? Th this area is really short, so I'm not too worried about my MP. Uh, let's see, you know, that guy is really, really slow. So, let's just go all out. Uh, let's see, they're not weak to anything, though, and they re resist just about everything. So, well, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, they resist all my elements. Nuts! Hmm, can I put you to sleep? No. What about Earth? No. Does anything work? Oh, you know, we got that magic staff. Let me try that. Ah, yeah, I knew I was holding on to that thing for some reason. Even Lamina should be faster than that guy. That is sad. Hey, hey, all right, go hero. Wow, I didn't know the smash shape we was that good. I just assumed, you know, you lose an attack multiplier. Why would you ever want to use that thing? But, well, apparently I was wrong. So, okay, let's uh, heal you up and keep on going then. And looks like we're going to have more new enemies. I think those are the killer wasps. Yeah, okay. Uh, those guys are weak to thunder, which is why I put the thunder crest on Lamina there. Let's see, hero. Let's, uh, let me see. Yeah, why don't you go after that one? You, hmm, yeah, help him out. Go after the Giga Wasp there and try to kill one of them if you can. Oh, kill one of them if you can there, Lamina. There we go. Killer Wasps are pretty fast. When you just see them hovering like that, they're not going to be uh, doing a whole lot. They'll just attack you, that's all. If you, if you see the Stinger moving back and forth, 
that means that it's going to try and paralyze you. Lady luck be kind. That's why I got the uh, Gauss's necklace on Roundfire there. But for a second there, I thought you rolled snake eyes. When you roll snake eyes, it's always one damage, no matter what, even if they're weak to it. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Well, at least they both tried to attack Hero to poison him. I like how they handle that stuff in this game. Because, like, usually in, like, a lot of other RPGs, if you only get, like, one status protection item or whatever, it sucks because they'll just attack someone else. But because of the way the positioning works with the battle mechanics here, it's actually pretty good. I mean, usually you gotta get, like, enough status protection for your entire party for it to be even remotely worthwhile. Hmm. Maybe I should have had Lamina attack the Killer Wasp there. Well, whatever. Lady Luck, be kind. The other enemy that's really fast in this area is also weak to Thunder, so I'm just going to leave Gene alone with that. That's... Well, maybe we can kill him quickly. Mega Magic Flame. Yeah, I think it's just better to go with Flame Shot to kill one of them outright, rather than to use, like, my all targeting spell for fire there costs more and it's weaker so it's like i mean it does attack multiple enemies but still by the way for uh, those who don't know the lingo uh snake eyes means rolling double ones so yeah that's a pretty bad roll but oh well now we're finally going to start getting to the good stuff. Vigor Ring! If I recall correctly, that protects against paralysis. <laughs> Usually empty. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. There we go. So, yeah. I want to give that to Lamina, so that way anyone who's too slow to not get par to kill or do something before you get paralyzed, they'll be ready. But just to clarify what I was saying there... Uh, Hero and Jean are probably going to be faster than the kill killer wasps that can paralyze them. So they'll already take their turns, even if they actually do get paralyzed in the first place. So, but here we got the last new enemy, Bloodbird. And they are really fast. Only Jean's going to have a chance of getting their turn in before them. So let's see. Uh, they are weak to Thunder. So that's why I've got the Thundercrest on Jean there. Let's see, let's just go... Oh wait, no, I still got the uh, Smash Saber on you, don't I? Yeah, we don't need that right now. I hate it when RPGs make you lose a turn for changing your weapon or something. I mean, what's the point of having even a remote amount of customization at that point? So, um, yeah, go there. Now, when you see the Bloodbird flapping its wings really, really fast like that... Yeah, it's going to drain HP from you. Otherwise, they just attack you normally like that. So, hmm. Little short on that one, but oh well. Lady Luck, be kind. Maybe I should have you using the Staff of Thunder instead, Lamina. I put her on the Flame Staff to take out those Fly Trappers there. But oh well, didn't work. So we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. I wouldn't worry about your MP in this area. This is the last screen of the dungeon. So, yeah. You didn't even target the right one, Lumina. Er, uh, Lucia. Whatever. Okay, anyway. Let's see. You go after that. That. And just in case I fail... Get the Thunder Staff. There we go. I like calling it the Staff of Thunder, mostly because of Dragon Warrior games. Wow, okay, I, I take that back. Gene, you, you did a good job. Lady Luck, be kind! Well, kinder than last time. Not bad, not bad. I like how useful Anger Dice is. Sometimes it really sucks, but usually it's decent if they're weak to the fire element. So let's see, keep Lucia healed up and keep on going then. Starlight, can never have enough of those.
Okay, took care of the last of the enemies around here. One thing I noticed while I was switching my weapons here, the flavor tech... Oh, can I not see it? Oh. Nuts. Well, the flavor text of the Smash Shaper is... Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, thick is Ronfar, heavy is Borgen. <laughs> so, okay. Or something like that. But anyway, here we get the Mighty Warrior Crest. And I'm going to be giving that to Ronfar because... Well, let me show this first. On Hero, just by itself, only raises your attack by 10. You lose some wisdom, but who cares? But, so, yeah, it's not great, but not, not incredible either. But if you equip the Warrior Crest and the Seal Crest, you can no longer cast magic in battle, but it doubles your attack power, and that is huge! No normally, what it also does is reduce your attack multipliers by two, I think. But since Ronfar only has one multiplier, well, you can't reduce it below one. So it's just a flat double attack power for Ronfar. That is amazing for like the next 15 levels or so, or however long it takes him to get a second attack multiplier. So yeah, I really like keeping that combo on him, as long as we're not in boss fights. During boss fights, obviously, he's not going to be attacking very much. So, yeah, that would be pretty bad. We need him to heal, too, and cast his magic. So, work your magic, Ronfar. Oh. Sure, why not? What floodgate? Uh, it can't be that cold. Oh, oh. Who's in charge of this place, anyhow? I don't think they ever explain that, now that I think about it. It has been a while since I got to this part in the story, but... Hmm. <laughs> really? You're gonna make that reference game? Man, they got a lot of pop culture references. All right, sounds like a plan. Surely we will actually get to Pentagulia this time. Yep, end of the game. I hope you've enjoyed Lunar 2. Well, you'd still be dancing. I wouldn't have minded that. Yeah, even though we're on disc one of three, yep, we're getting close to the end. The second disc is the ending, and the third disc are, I don't know, uh, what are those things they did in the first game? Where they kept on screwing up their lines, whatever that was. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah, she's learned how to range her voice, I guess, or whatever the word is for that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Just sleep on the floor here. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. No blankets or anything. Oh, we do have blankets. Where did they come from? I don't know. What's that noise? Someone kidnapped Lucia. Well, let's take a look around. <laughs> I like how Ruby curls up into a ball like a cat. <laughs> Just like Stripe. And everyone talks in their sleep. Are they Nazis? No. No. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I don't need to heal up, but... What's going on? Nice job on guard duty there, Ronfar. Blocking the exit. What's going on? I thought the water was too cold.
Well, she is from the Blue Star, so... It's your big chance, hero. Don't screw it up. Who's there? <gasps> Damn it, hero. You're never going to get any booty at this rate. What's the problem, Lucia? You didn't mind it the first time. Oh, oh, okay. Ah. Yes, ma'am. I mean, uh, Lucia. Well, we did it once before already. How's it go? Ronfar, where'd you go? N no, of course not. <laughs> ah, I like this song. Some people don't, but oh well. Yep, everything's going to be smooth sailing from here. Nice. Sounds like a plan. Surely Leo won't get there before we do. There was that one guy who said he moved to uh, Azado, or Vane from Azado. Let's see. Well, we can't go any further than that for now, but remember this place for later. I wonder why that guy would want to move from, you know, a port town to Vane there. You got waterfront property. How do you beat that? What's the worst that could possibly be happening there? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.